Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Army Guy 4 coming to you today with um, a review of my custom M357 millimeter anti-tank gun. Little information about this, it was used primarily by um, the US military during World War II. Um, it was mainly used in the Pacific, I believe. I mean, it was, there was extensive use in European theater as well, but um, it was mainly no f known for um, being used in the Pacific. It is a lighter anti-tank gun. It um, took a smaller shell than some other guns. Um, and as you can see from the comparison to my figure, it's not really a big piece. But then that helped for it being able to transport very easily. So, getting onto the gun here, um, the front is just basically a three studs by four studs, um, nothing really fancy there, and I just put a one by two with a single stud on there to put the gun on. I didn't try to lace it through. Um, and then I have the um, this little plate here. Um, People like um, Dan over at Brickmania, I believe um, his M3 can, um, the plate can go up and down, going from trans or transport mode, which is up, to firing mode, which is down. Um, you know, I didn't really find that a must in my rendition of this gun, so I just put it up and left it up. Um, and then this, the gun is just a um, just a bar with um, some pins on it, and then just a little bit of the bar out, so then you can connect it to there. Um, the back, really like how I did this. This is probably one of the, my favorite um, models I've done. I put two um, two by two plates there, which holds the shield together, but then also. Since it has a stud in the middle, I can put, um, I put a one by one regular gripping piece right here because that's that was a little feature of the actual gun, and then I put a one by one with studs on each side, um, horizontally. So then the bottom will be out. So then you can put shells in there and stuff. And on these two sides, I have these one by one clips with these um, claws in them to hold the legs. And then on this side, this claw, I put, um, I took a steering wheel off one of the steering wheel pieces and then um, <clears throat> managed to hook it on um, this. The wheels aren't super fancy. They're just one by one bricks with um, the technical the technic versions with a one by two pin and just got them in there. So it's pretty simple design. Um, right now it's in transport mode, thus the trailer hitch, um, and just to take it out of transport mode, I have to take off, I have a grill piece on the front of these, and then this on the back, and I just use these little grip pieces, um, like I used up here for the legs, and then these can spread out and then it can, you know, be fired. Um, so again, like I said, if you, um, as far as ammo goes, I would suggest using the um, smaller anti-tank gun shell, um, GI Brick, um, I think pretty, GI Brick, uh, Brick Mania, I think everyone pretty much sells them. Brick Mania obviously did it first. Um, you can get you know a lot for a good price, um, and you can fit about one or about two figures behind this. If you're doing like a Iwo Jima or something Pacific battle, you know display, um, you can fit about two figures behind it. My mine anyway. You could do three like an officer in the back, you know, with binoculars and stuff. But um, as far as the um, gunners you can fit probably about two, which is really all you need. So, um, otherwise, I really like this. I mean, it's, again, like I said, one of my favorite
builds. And um, I haven't. I built it a few months ago, but just, I'm finally getting around to showing it. So um, that's pretty much it. My marine, by the way, oops, he just died. Um, his torso is from the Luke Skywalker Dagobah minifigure from like 2005 or six. Works really well for marines or yellow ones anyway. I've seen some people use flesh with this torso. I mean, obviously it's switched out the arms, but um, it still looks good. So it's a great torso um, for Marines. I don't know how rare it is. I haven't seen very many on BrickLink um, or on eBay. But um, if you look around, you'll probably find a good deal. I've gotten some really good deals on BrickLink before with some rare torsos. So um, there's that. And this is my M357 millimeter anti-tank gun. And then this is Mr. Guy 4 signing off. Have a great day.